The NBA has been changing consistently in recent years. It's a movement that I would argue isn't really getting the talk you would think it might. And fortunately for the Warriors, they've been riding this trend for as long as anyone else at this point and without question have had the most success with it. It doesn't take too much effort to notice something interesting with the way they've managed their teams that could give us some insight not only into the future of their franchise, but also their 2020 draft pick. But before we start, I just want to shout out a few of our commenters. You guys were asking about the possibility of James Wiseman to the Warriors. And well, this is essentially our response to that question. So if we take a look at the Warriors' best lineups during their historic run over the past half decade, the trend begins to become very apparent when we look at their most efficient lineups, and more specifically, the net point rating of five-man combinations. So what does this mean, you might be wondering? Real quick, in a nutshell, the five-man net point rating is the difference between how many points a team scores and how many points they allow for a given combination of players. Obviously, a positive net rating is better than negative because it indicates a team is scoring scoring more than they allow. This could be a very useful tool that can distinguish how well certain combinations of teams play together within a team. But when we use this information and look at the Warriors' best combinations, an interesting trend illuminates. In 2016-17, they had a plus 266 net rating, the best in the NBA. This combination consisted of Curry, Thompson, Durant, Green, and Pachulia. The year prior, in 2015, they had a plus 292 net rating, the second best in the NBA. They came with Curry, Thompson, Green, Iguodala, and Barnes. And again, in 2015, with a slightly different lineup, they had a plus 166 net rating. The third best in the NBA, Curry, Thompson, Green, Bogut, and Barnes were a part of that lineup. But there is three interesting aspects about these lineups that could explain what I'm talking about. Number one, the combination of Curry, Thompson, and Green is in all three. Number two, one of those lineups didn't even have a center. And number three, I would argue two of the least recognizable players on that list, or at least the ones with the least impact, were Zaza and Andrew Bogut. But wait, before you guys dislike this video, I realize that last one can be seen as offensive by a lot of Warriors fans. I'm not hating on either of those guys, they're awesome, okay? Who didn't love to see Andrew Bogut, our 7-foot Australian friend, do stuff like this? Or Zaza the Enforcer do things like this? But truth be told, at least from an analytical perspective, they were role players. By no means were they superstars, franchise players, or someone you wanted the ball with in the final seconds. And that was okay. It's why they fit perfectly into the Warriors system. When we look at bigs like Joel Embiid, Anthony Davis, Carl Anthony Towns, these are guys you might build a system around. They're athletes a team would want if they were in the early stages of the rebuilding process, for example. We always say basketball is algebra, not addition, and the Warriors know this. It's why they don't want or need a superstar center. It's why they aren't going to be picking up James Wiseman. People assume adding an elite center into the mix would make them that much better. This isn't true. Again, before you hit that dislike button, is he arguably the most valuable player in the draft? Yeah, you could certainly make that case. But given the dynamics of the Warriors over the past few years, their small ball, bombs away style, which is reinforced by Draymond, the six foot five power forward, a lot of times picking up the other team's centers, this was always to facilitate an increasingly popular no position strategy, to facilitate a play style that doesn't require an elite and dominant traditional center. Draymond had this to say prior to the 2019 playoffs. Nah, ain't no shacks today. Unless you're playing Joel Embiid or Jokic or some sh no one banging like that. Good thing Shaq ain't in this series. And he was right. The days of dominant, fundamental big man are over, especially with the Warriors. They have Marquise Chris, Kevin Looney, Alan Smilicic, the 20-year-old kid from Serbia that we've been talking about for years now. And it's my opinion that's more than enough. All right, I wanna make this quick for those of you that don't know, on top of these videos, we're also doing training locally. Your favorite coach's favorite coach has been training athletes from beginner to professional for over a decade now. And if you know me, dunking seemed inconceivable a few months ago, but recently I was able to pull one off. Maybe, not sure if we're counting it. Regardless, if you're an athlete and want to up your game fast, we have a messaging group. The number is down below. It's completely free. It's a way for us to get to know you guys personally and help you out. But okay, back to the video.
Personally, I still think that Golden State should and is going to go with Denny Abdia. If you haven't seen our video about him, check it out here. Personally, I just feel he makes the most sense. Of course, they could pick up James Wiseman looking for a trade. But again, I see a lot of people talking about how the Warriors need him. They don't. They've never benefited with a quote unquote superstar. Look at DeMarcus Cousins, for example. He's easily an all star. But when he gets the ball, the offense stops dead in its tracks. You're not really fun. You just can't get into it. And with the Warriors' fast-paced style, they don't need a guy like that. He was a negative 3.9% and that rebounding average for the team, and the Warriors' offensive rating went from a plus 7.3 to a plus 4.5 with him on the court. And at the time, this was considered a huge addition. They need bigs that could play more of a scavenger role. Someone who's athletic, can play defense, grab a rebound, catch an alley-oop, set screens, and support the big three. Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green are all coming back this next season. And that's all they need. It's also what they already have. All right, drop a like if you guys enjoyed because those can help. And let me know what you guys think down in the comments. It's your favorite 50,000 subscriber hopefuls, Cortical Hoops, and see you on the next one.